When we say confront the reality of God and everything that that means, we're saying this. And by the way, what I'm going to say, I realize this is huge. It's mind-boggling if you take this seriously. It's mind-boggling. I understand that. But this is actually how Jesus put it. This is what Jesus said. If we're going to confront the reality of God and everything that that means, Jesus said this. This is in Matthew chapter 16. I didn't say this. This is not my idea. Jesus said this. Think about it. If any of you wants to be my follower, you must give up your own way. Take up your cross and follow me. And then he added this. Now listen, you want to be a follower of Jesus? Yes, I do. Okay. If you try to hang on to your life, you'll lose it. That's not what our world tells us. If you try, Jesus said, if you try to hang on to your life, you'll end up losing it. He said, but if you give up your life for my sake, Jesus, my life is yours. I surrender to you. You'll save your life. You'll find it. Confronting the reality of God means forgetting this crazy notion of trying to hide from him. And understand it. Actually, instead of hiding from him, your life is all about him. Your life is about him. Yes. You are, if you understand this properly, again, I, this is a very big deal, I know. You're called to live your life for Jesus. That's right. Amen. That's what Christianity is about. You say, I don't want to do that, then you don't want Christianity. You want something else. Your life is about Him and living for Him. Amen? Amen.